maintenance. If you're going to inject chemicals, please do so safely and do it the right concentration or you could, you could end up eating something up. Your gaskets and things, <laughs> don't just suck pure concentrated acid into your system, you know, at a, at a too high a rate or everything will die. Your plants will die. You know, your, your mother-in-law will die. I mean, everybody dies, right? So just do it properly. And then flush the system. You know, it's a good idea occasionally just to go at the end of the, the laterals whether it be micro sprinkle lateral or a drip lateral, open it up. See what comes out. If a bunch of silty goo comes out, you got issues. You're not filtering enough or you're not draining your lines enough. Okay, keep it out of there. Control pests. Pests are looking for these uh, for the system. If it's mice, get you some cats, right? Or some, some traps or something. Yeah, I know it's simpler, you know, a lot more complex than that. But the idea is that if you can uh, satisfy the needs of the, the animals for water, some people will put, put uh, basins of water out for the animals to drink in, in drought. Let them there freely so they can drink and not have to chew up your drip lines and stuff. I mean, that's an option there. Uh, service the filtration system. You might have to replace the, uh, the media in your uh, filters. It doesn't last forever. It gets too gooey at times. You just replace it. Wash it out, empty it, put some new sand in it okay and then the filters the elements screens and things will break down over time and then winterize the system one of the problems a lot of people this is everybody's guilty of this they get lazy they forget the drip system outside right they got water in your drip system right you got your manifold there oh it's worked great and then some you know temperature drops to 25 and stays for a while oh shoot go out and everything's busted open so your manifold disconnect it take it inside uh, we talked about heating your pump house. You also want to blow all the water out of your system. Most of the drip lines, under, li under ground lines will stay there. If they're t really deep, they're not going to freeze. But I always like to take a, a pressurized uh, like a pressure tank, Pick, hook a Schrader valve up to one end of it, open it up and just blow all the water out of it. No problem. If there's no water in it, it don't freeze. And that's how you overwinter it. 